Hello guys, Lux Angus here. This topic is about Lucifer and my experiences within my tradition of Aspectum Tridentum. Well, it was not a short period of time when I walked with the Quashic form of Lucifer, that means I walked most predominantly with his most known N. And what the N is in our like left hand tradition or demonology is a mantra a mantra that you recite rhythmically as a rhythmically like in a certain rhythm that you find comfortable in chanting certain mantras and with time you accumulate a particular amount of energy of this specific deity or god you are worshiping calling upon and well, I walked with the Gwashik form of Lucifer, like his, in this time his end was Renik, Tasa, Ubaraka, Lyasa, Ikar, Lucifer. And this was his like normal, normal end that you would use to call upon or to transmute your own energy. It is something like Lucifer, you know Lucifer. And well, I walked around exactly 222 days with him because <laughs> in my long project I saw myself doing this that, that long and it is also a numerological reason behind it and well it is, was not only the only day that I worked in this project like this it is supposed to be 666 days 66 days like almost two years um, is my project and in this period of time that now, now I'm in it is coming to an end and I'm really, I'm really happy about it but we're back to topic about Lucifer, Gwashik Lucifer well of course if you really dedicated yourself like that much amount of time uh, these spiritual forces will most likely recognize this will watch upon you, will interact with you and this of course can only happen when your own consciousness is like polarized and are into a higher state of consciousness like you are open to receive and this only can happen through meditation and through some sort or certain type of trance consciousness and well of course and, and it, it started there it started there with Lucifer then when I took these energies catapulted my consciousness into his realm and he showed me like a specific form of himself like the dragon Lucifer and the Draco Lucifer and this is like this sigil that I show, show to you and I will, I will show you more um, later in the story and well when I walked with his normal most known form of the Gwashik Lucifer what happens with me many things to be honest many things like in the first days like nothing really much happened because myself was not open and connected enough to his realm to his energies and only the second round second round like the next next 111 days when interact with him my changes happened and what were these well first of all he he blinded me with his light what it means in my occasion is like um he he boosted my vanity he boosted my positive self-talk positive self-image so much so that i forgot almost like my dark side almost like my downside like where i am not proud of myself where I am not uh, like like confident about myself that I forgot this part totally about myself when I walked with him and he just strengthened my vanity strengthened my self positive self talk strengthened my addictions to certain music and things that just hype hypes me up it just hypes me up and and just making all around together a positive, light-hearted and laughing person, yes. 
This is crazy at the sounds. Lucifer made me for his period of time most prominently um, on my on my occasion a positive person. I was focused uh, on my on my confidence, focused on my on my proud, on my pride. <clears throat> Our but it's, it's, but there was also like some type of downside to it. There was some form of arrogance. Some of arrogance. I don't know. Like, like nothing, nothing can touch me because I feel like God. <clears throat> like in that aspect, like the, the, the home, this is like how much vanity he pumped in me, and this was not bad. The only downside, like, was sometimes this arrogance. Something like nothing can touch me. I'm God, and and of course I'm God, but. But in which extent, like, I'm God about my own world. And if I want to be God about the outside world, of, if, and I must interact with it like a magician, then, like, then I'm doing the God's work for myself through magic. But where I'm God about my own world, and this is important, this is important, like, that he showed to me, like, my self, positive self-image that I most of the time ignored, through my lack of self-confidence, through my lack of of pride, through my lack of um, recognition, some hidden parts of myself that I deem positive. And he showed this to me. He he brought this up in me, and manifested in the end in me. And now I'm I'm a changed person. Like I'm a changed person. I. I, I just made decisions, I, I did things that I think without my confidence, without my pride, without my sometimes also mixed in arrogance, it didn't make and didn't change me into in, in, a, in a better person. That I deem, I, I, I transformed myself in. I make more, now more money, I, 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 I totally ignore negative self-talk, and I am a more inner freer person. The outer, like a, a person, when a person becomes materially rich, outside of himself rich, he was long before in his mind rich. And this like manifested in the physical richness. Like this is an interesting point. Like when 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 you walk with Lucifer, that he will show you in some way or another that you become first rich in your mind, in your soul, before you become rich on a material plane. And yeah, yeah, this this was like it. This was like my whole experience with, with the Gwashik Lucifer. And after my 666 project, I will go deeper into this channeled aspect of these three form deities. As a trinity of Satan, Lucifer, and Maimon. I will, I will go more deeper in this channel aspect. But now I am only working with the graphic, the graphic um, types of demonic forms, mixed in with the channeled form that I got, working with these gods. Yeah, I think important. Like don't, don't, don't like be scared about your own positive side if, if. If you are scared, like I don't believe that you don't scared, but I just believe that most of the time we are like we are so put together in our own negative self talk that we can't know otherwise about oneself, and we need more times than sometimes outside help or like a godly help, a spiritual help, that when we want a really sustainable self-transformation. And yeah, guys, this was it. This was my experience with Lucifer. Uh, tell me your experiences if you walk with Lucifer. And yeah, I, I, I give it to your heart. Walk with him and see for yourself. He's a really good guy to walk with.